Good morning. You can see here my lovely husband has already started breakfast for the day. So it's very good when you wake up and he's already making breakfast for you. Here, let's shy. Don't mind him. So first thing I do every morning is I come and I open these blinds to let some of these natural light into the house. I said blinds, but I mean curtains. So open the curtains, get some natural light into the house. Something about being able to look outside into the world from your house and just look at the outside world. You don't even have to go outside, just look at the outside world. So now that I have the curtains open, it is time for my meditation, reflection, whatever word you use to describe your alone time, to think about the goodness of the Lord and all that he's done for you. That's what I'm doing right now. So the first book I have is A Woman After God's Own Heart. This is a chapter book. It is roughly 300 pages, and it's a very, very good book. The second book that I have it's called Awaken, and it is a 90-day devotional book where you have the ability to do reflection after every chapter. Um, the next book that I have is called The Purpose Driven Life, and this is a 40-day um, reflection book, and you have the ability to reflect after every chapter in the book. Which is why I love those two books, because after every chapter, I get my pen and I write down things um, according to the questions that they ask you in those reflections. So those are my three to go to books. So right now I'm just going to take the time, read a chapter out of each book, do my journaling, and then start my day. <laughs> meditation or reflection whatever you want to call it I am now heating up my breakfast that my husband made for me grab that out of the microwave grab my water off the table and I am back at my desk to work for the remainder part of the day the princess is now up so she is up and ready to get her day started first thing we're going to go ahead and do is get her a bubble bath um, she loves bubbles so i run her bubble bath and then gonna brush her teeth do her hair and get her some breakfast so right now she's just trying to help me test the water out because she thinks she's a big girl and she wants to help mommy with everything so run her a bath and usually she spends anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes taking a bath because she likes to play in the water. So I give her that time while she is taking a bath to go ahead and get started on getting her clothes ready and getting her breakfast ready as well. Now she is a stickler to routine. So every day she has oatmeal, 
I say 90% of the day, 90% of the time she has oatmeal. She's an oatmeal girl. So I'll fix her some oatmeal and some eggs or some yogurt. Um, but the majority of the time she is going to eat oatmeal every morning. Um, I fix some pancakes um, a couple of times and she likes those as well. But nothing like oatmeal. So today she said she was hungry. So that means I need to fix her two packets. So I fixed her her two packets of oatmeal. And then I need to get her juice ready. Please don't judge me when I make this juice. I gave her a, a, um, a little bit more juice than I normally do. But it's a little juice and a lot of water. We're starting potty training today. So we need to get that juice intake, water intake down. So that potty training can be effective. about working at home is of course not having to pay for daycare um but my daughter she is a late sleeper so she usually wakes up around to say um 11 12 every morning I think she's earlier so i have basically i start work at seven so i from seven until she wakes up to just have me some time and then when she wakes up of course, it's all about her. So she's up now. It's like 11.40. She's taking a bath, going to do her hair, put some clothes on. And today's going to be officially our first day of potty training. Um, she's potty She's potty in the potty train, in the, the seat before um, a couple times. But I haven't really been a stickler on making sure she does it consistently. So she's two and a half now. So we need to get her started on potty training. Um... She knows when she has to do the morning too. So hopefully she'll transition with this pretty well and it won't be a lot of back and forth. I may just need to go and get some panties from for her. Of course I'm doing that. And then that may work better, but we'll see. I'm gonna give it a couple of days with the pull-ups and see how she does. But right now we're just gonna get her out of here, get her bathed, get her clothes. I just did her oatmeal. She eats oatmeal almost every day. She loves it. Um, and then we'll get started with our day. We'll finish getting started. It's still working. I'm on my lunch break right now, so.
Where your shoes at? Oh, no. You're on the couch. <laughs> Sky here. Sky. Today is Friday, so it is Wind Down Friday. So it has been a long week, not a stressful week, not a overwork week. It has been a long week. And we started potty training today. So it's wind down time. Now tomorrow or well, this weekend, we are doing um, cleaning on the inside and outside. My husband has started on the back today. So tonight we're just gonna wind down. Enjoy ourselves and wind down. Go ahead and get you a glass and a bottle or whatever you need to do to wind down. That's what you do. But tonight I have some Stella Rose. I didn't chill at first, but it's still gonna be good. So Cheers. I did want to talk to you about 2024. So how has 2024 been treating y'all? It is the 19th. So we've been in this thing for 19 days. And for me, I started doing um, some stuff on my vision board, but I really haven't dived into it like I need to. Um, if you saw my vision board video, you'll see that I had put on there, I spoke about how the Bible tells us to write the vision and make it plain. So me and my family wrote the visions that we wanted for 2024. Mama. Mama. Hey baby. Whoa. And we made it plain. So the Bible also states that faith without works is dead. Mama. Aww. Nothing. Here, baby. What's yogurt?
There you go, baby. Go sit down and eat. The Bible also states that faith without works is dead. So even though I have faith that all these things are going to happen for me in 2024, if I don't put works behind it, my is it does it out. So faith without works is dead. So you got to have faith. And then you got to have works behind that faith to activate it. So there's a lot of stuff that I had on my board, the board that hasn't been activated because I haven't put the work in. So that's me. So with my weight loss journey, um, I've lost 30 pounds since August. But I was strict on what I was eating. I started incorporating some um, cardio into my... Um, lifestyle because i sit at the desk all day so i had started doing some cardio then i was strict on what i was eating i was trying to do um low carb well i was doing low carb and i slacked off in the past um two months i'll say since thanksgiving so i slacked off a lot like i've been eating and eating so I got to start back and get that mentality that I had before because I wanted to lose 80 pounds. So that's my goal is to lose 80 pounds. It may not be possible in one year. It may be possible. It just depends on how dedicated I am. But that's my goal. So we wrote the vision down. We made it plain. But faith in those things needs work behind it. So I have to work on those things and still have faith that they're going to get done. So I'm going to do it. I have a lot of stuff that I have in there that I have to start working on. And I started a day, um, one of those things about being closer to God and um, building our relationship with him. I started the day, set us some time apart in the morning and just go back to reading. Because I used to read books all the time. Go back to reading, go back to journaling. So I did that this morning and it was good. Um, so that's it. So I'm going to drink my wine and I'm going to wind down. That's good. So I know tomorrow I'm going to do some um, cleaning videos. And if you come in my house, you will see it's not dirty, but it's like a toddler dirty where stuff needs to be wiped down, floors need to be mopped and swept. Um, just like ordinary, you know, cleaning. It doesn't have to be any deep cleaning or anything like that. But there's a lot of rooms to be cleaned. And I'm going to wake up early, put my music on, and just do it. There's nothing to it but to do it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do that tomorrow. Uh, Sunday, I've been to church in a while because I've been working on Sundays. Um, but I have this Sunday also. I'm going to be at church on Sunday. Other than it's going to be cold this weekend, I think my husband said. So we really don't have any plans this weekend. I know not next week, and, but the following weekend, he has a show in South Carolina Friday, North Carolina Saturday and Montgomery on Sunday. So not next weekend, but the following weekend, we're going to be very busy Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I'm driving to his shows. So we're going to be in South Carolina, North Carolina, and Montgomery. So that's going to be fun. That's going to be fun. So I will bring you guys along for that ride. Um, not so much as watching him perform because the last video I did when I actually played him, him singing, I'm um, got copyrighted. So, and I played the other artists as well, they got copyrighted. So, I may just show you a glimpse of him performing every now and then, but it's just gonna be a, a road trip kind of vlog. We have fun when we drive together because I think I'm a single. Well, 
I know I'm a singer, but he don't think I can sing, so we have fun. If I'm not asleep, because I do sleep a lot when I'm traveling with him. But um, other than that, we don't got any plans. I'm just really starting to focus on my vision board, um, putting the work behind the board, activating my faith so that I can make sure that I accomplish everything that I need to accomplish. Um, potty training. That wasn't on my vision board. That's something I need to do. She'll be three in August and we need to. She's at home all day. There's no reason that I can't potty train them. Except that I don't want to. <laughs> all right. So my oldest daughter, she's off in college, but I didn't potty train her. The daycare she went to, they potty trained her. So that kind of got me spoiled. So I don't know how to potty train. So I've been dragging the little potty chair around and she's actually been dragging the potty chair around as well. And she's actually potty a couple times today in the potty, in the potty chair. Um, but she did it as well in her pull up. So we're gonna, we're gonna get there. Hopefully soon, <laughs> hopefully soon. So other than that, um, not too much going on. That's why I really, I don't vlog a lot unless I'm doing something. But I stated that I was going to start bringing you guys along for the ride when I do like um, just daily vlogs and what I do a day, every day. Um, so we'll do that. So I'm just going to sit here and drink me my wine, wine down, and sit in this re um, massaging chair, recline back. And then if something happens or if me and my husband do something or if we cook tonight, I'll bring you guys along for that. But I didn't take anything out. So I don't know if I'm going to cook because I did. Um, we still got some chicken and rice left over from yesterday. But we had that for lunch today. So we may not eat that again. But if we decide to cook something, I'll bring y'all along for the ride. Other than that, we're not doing too much. If you haven't already like share subscribe um i'm steadily creeping up but i wanna i should have put that on my own um, vision board how many subscribers that i want to have by the end of 2024 and i may do that i'm gonna go back and put that on there because i think i have i don't know i think it's like 46 i think so i would like to have 100 subscribers by 2024 so if you enjoy these vlogs, um, shoot a comment down there. What do you think guys think I could do to increase my subscribers? Um, feedback is always good. So go ahead and do that. And then like, share, comment, subscribe. And I'm going to get better with the videos. So just bear with me. And hopefully... If you didn't find this one appeasing, come back for the next one and maybe that'll be appeasing to you. <coughs> so, I'll talk to y'all later.